This is your weekly dose of Bitcoin. Yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> use very little math. Um, use a lot of like uh, elementary school math, like uh, arithmetic, probability, uh, but not really any of the advanced stuff I learned in college. Two hours later. Not the first time I've made a bad investment. Probably not the last time. Okay, the guy you see next to me is the most generous billionaire in the world. And I found him. Hi, my name is Sam. Shut up and take my money. Dominoes continue to fall after the FTX scandal with both BlockFi and Genesis trading experiencing some trouble. We appreciate our client's patience and resilience during this time. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? They've brought in the guy who helped liquidate Enron to help with this mess. And let's just say, it's not looking good. Never in my career have I seen such a complete failure of corporate controls and such a complete absence of trustworthy financial information has occurred here. The most important point to be made here is the collapse of FTX and FTT uh, represents a, a, a corrupt crypto bank collapse fueled by an inflationary fiat cryptocurrency. I don't want to pour too much salt on the wound, but this is the same guy that dunked on Bitcoin recently for having too high environmental costs. How dare you! And to the family and friends out there continuously asking me about this scandal, please stop. I'm just enjoying the cheap sats. On a positive note, there are now 8 billion people on Earth. And don't forget that it doesn't matter how much demand there is for Bitcoin, there will still only be 21 million. Boom! 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1, that's 3, quick maths. The UK inflation level has reached 11.1%, the highest in 41 years. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning. While these lads were on tour and World War 3 was trending on Twitter, CBDC started moving in the background, with both Australia and New York running pilot schemes. In light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stablecoins, we are examining whether a US central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! Our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a US CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. We've heard about these things before. Central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote. Seriously, what's up with politicians and their eyes? Just arrived at the station on my way to the manifesto launch. I'm really excited about that. Sure and safe hands though. I can't see absolutely any reason why a CBDC would be anything but a great and inclusive currency for all. That's good, a central bank. Nothing wrong with centralised authority, centralised power, globalist decrees coming down from on high, avoiding democracy. That's exactly what we want. Keep talking. We're developing through technology, an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Hmm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. It's like a digital penny for your digital money box for your digital shithole that you live in. You will own nothing. You will be happy. <laughs> Thank God for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is money governed by fixed rules, not rulers. A CBDC is money governed by rulers with absolute control over ever-changing rules. Alright, let's end the week with something positive. If you go on YouTube and you type in 90s hip-hop beats, medieval, you'll come across this. I quite liked it. Peace out. <laughs>